The third triangle, I said, is from the shoulder line out to the extent of your reach. Okay? Now, the third triangle, it's all about the shoulders. The shoulders, you have to turn them off. Okay? We don't use the shoulders. All right? So, how do you do that? It's like taking a nail. Hawkins Chung says this. Take a nail, put it into your shoulder, and then take a hammer, pop, hammer it, and hammer it down. Once it's down, relax. Don't let it come up anymore. Okay? Relax. It's both sides. Hammer them down. Keep them down. Relax. Okay? When you punch, don't bring them up. When you're doing your tying and stuff, don't keep bringing them up like this. Once they're down, they're, they stay down. Okay? And relax. All right? Breathe. Relax. Okay? Now, when you have that, then when you come out, your movement coming out, this, at, to the extent of your reach, this forms another triangle. Okay? This goes back to the, uh, the straight punch or the chun choi video that I did about the three sticks. Okay? So you have to practice aligning the three sticks. Okay? Now, when you look at this triangle, I want you to think of it like a door jam. Okay? A door jam is made of rubber, so it bends, right? And it's shaped like a triangle. Okay? If I put it and I wedge it under the door, okay? When somebody tries to push that door open, okay? The more they try, the stronger that wedge becomes. And the, the door, they get stuck. And the reason is that they push all that energy into the door. And because the triangle wedges underneath the door, all their energy goes down right, right into the ground and it goes bounces right back into their own body. And the harder they try, the faster it keeps bouncing from the ground back into their own body. So what ends up happening is they end up having to fight themselves and the door's not going to move. Okay? That's exactly how you should think of this last triangle. Okay? So when you come out and you do your movements and the three sticks are aligned and you have the bottom triangle set and the top triangle set, when you come out, okay, you want to wedge by bringing your elbow, creeping it into the inside, and wedge this triangle okay, into the door. The, the reason why we go to the extent of the reach is that it's like taking a door jam and, stick, and, and, wet, and jamming it as, hard, as much as you can underneath the door. That's exactly what we're trying to do. We're wedging our hands when we come out, bringing the elbow in and wedging all the way out, okay? So that when we get to the extent of our reach, okay, we can't jam it anymore, right? Then what happens is when somebody tries to come in and push against that structure, okay, that's backed up by the other two sticks, okay? It's like trying to push open the door with a door jam. The more they push, right, the more their energy roots me to the ground. It makes me stronger. As long as my shoulders are off and my top and bottom triangle are set. And then the energy bounces back, right back into their own body. And the harder they try, the more it bounces back. So they end up fighting themselves. Right? That's when you're doing Salem Tao, you have to think of these three triangles and these, uh, the, the structure and the principles that I'm talking about, okay? So that when you see the old masters and the great masters, when you see them and everyone's trying to push and, you know, they can't move them or they're just shoving people around left and right and it looks so easy, okay? I, I want you to understand that that's not, it's not magic. It's not that they're superhuman. They're, you know it, it all comes back to these three triangles. And every time you do see on Tao, you have to think about these alignments. And that's why it's called the little idea form. Each time you take one idea, maybe it's just the bottom triangle, and you try to maintain that, that structure. Okay? Maybe it's, then you do that over and over, then maybe the next time, the top triangle, okay? And then finally, the third triangle, okay? 
And once you can do this without having to think about it, okay, then you can start focusing on the next idea, the little idea, which is bringing your mind into your movements and being able to move your energy through your body. Okay? So now I'm going to perform for you the CUM top form that I was taught. Now, when you see it, it, it may look slightly different than the way you're taught. And I don't want you to get caught up in that. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter. What matters is that when you do the form the way you were taught, do it with these concepts in mind. The concepts and principles and the structure is still the same. Right? So enjoy the ceiling top form so that when you see it, when you see me doing it, you understand I'm not just moving my arms and racing through a, a form. Okay? No. And actually, when, I, when you do the form, you should do it as slow as possible. Okay? But when you practice the form, I want you to make sure that you really adhere to these principles. And if you keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing, okay, you're going to get it, okay? Till eventually you become extremely strong. You become a strong wedge, right? And if you think about it, that's how come they don't make wedges out of metal, right? This is a metal wedge, okay? <laughs> right? Okay? But somebody big and strong comes around and, oh my gosh, I mean, you're getting shoved, right? They're just moving your whole body. Okay? It's just like putting a metal wedge underneath a door. Somebody big and strong comes up, pop, that wedge goes flying. That door goes swings open. Right? So you want to make sure that you practice soft. You want to practice these principles and you want to practice relax. Okay? So when you watch me do the, the Selim Tao form, you understand all the little things that are going on while I'm doing the form. Okay? Enjoy the ceiling top form and I'll talk to you soon.